How's it going, fellow Vanguard? It's Enid for Carpet Calgary. We're back with another deck profile. Let's get started. Okay. Uh, this is a Genesis de Witch deck profile. Um, I start with Cinnamon because it gives you extra souls for free. Because this deck counter blasts too much, and your other way of counter blasting requires. I'm sorry, your other way of soul charging requires counter blast. Uh, I don't start the Great Three Searcher because I need to sometimes uh, use. What the hell is that thing called? This thing. Jasmine's ability earlier, so I used the counter blast for that instead, instead of this crap. Oh, sorry, instead of like Great Three Searcher. So this thing's effect is uh, Forerunner. Put it into your soul when an attack hits a Vanguard and this unit boosted uh, a Great Three or Greater Genesis, you may pay the cost if you do so charge two. So it's three soul, basically. So that's it. Uh, it also gets on hit pressure, I guess. Okay, whatever. I play four. What's the Shiroma? Shiroma is a witch crit, which is not a witch, it's a ferret. <laughs> this thing's effect is puts it into the top of your deck, shuffle your deck, and then if you have a jet oh, Vanguard with witch in its name, I may draw I can draw a card. And then when I draw the card, I look at the top three cards of my deck, so charge one and mill the other two. So these things can activate your Legion early, um, if you can't stride, I guess. So that's pretty good. And it's a witch name, which you need witch name because uh, you can only draw witch cards with fennel, I guess. Uh, I run, I guess with that I run 10 crit, oh, sorry 12 crits, not 10 crits. I run 12 crits because the deck so charges too much. Um, so you need to try, and, this is one of your only ways to end the game. Checking crits. Uh, the thing is that this, this deck doesn't need draw triggers because you have fennel. Uh, you have enough draws as it is. Uh, it, and and you hit for hit for huge numbers and you give your and you make your regrets really big so you may as well have this to push for damage so that your regrets can like end the game later and I run four heals so that's the, just that's just the triggers I know I'm like nice worm I play two stride assists because sometimes I like to re-ride I guess. Um, and it really helps to have stride assist because sometimes you need to actually stride early game. Like, you need to get Doom Brace off, filter your soul, or whatever, basically. Also, you're prone to soul charging grade 3 sometimes, so you know what. Um, you may as well have that. So, I run four perfect guards. I run not the unflipping one because these are witch names. You need witch names for fennel. It's more useful to have them as witch names than the unflipping one. Um, because I don't run the stand trigger, the unflipping one can be more useful because I kind of lost a lot. But I, I, I think I value the utility of being able to grab it to my hand rather than having to drive check it or drawing it, basically. I don't know how to prohibition that shit. I don't. I run three onion. Onion is your Melissa. So, new Melissa. So the fact is, when this unit is placed into drop zone from your soul, if you have a Vanguard Witch in its name, you may counter blast one, and then you call it to Vanguard Circle, and it gives 2,000 health. So it's good because it's a 9k booster, and it can make 21k lines with your 12k hitters, which is called your Chicory. Or Jasmine, I guess. Uh, I run two of... Oh, Valencia. Like Valencia is when it's so blasted, yeah, so, oh, so you can so charge too. It's just a couple with this because you don't really, you kind of, a lot of your regards actually counter blast, and sometimes you need to, you need to be, I needed to balance being able to call units out for free and being able to so charge things, right? So these things are too important. And I run two times. Time's ability is uh, when this unit is placed on regard circle, if I have a Vanguard Witch in this name, I may look at the top three cards of my deck and so charge one and mill the other two. So it does the same as Shiroma. It's just a great one, basically. And that's it's just utility to have it, really. More than anything else. I run four chicories, these are your 12k beaters. I run four chicories because they are your uh, uh, what do you call that? I guess it's your good early game rushes, I guess. And you can make 21k lines more consistently with onions. Uh, that's basically it. I run two Grappa. Same reason as why I run Valencia. It's just ran out of space in grade one, I guess. Kind of thing. Uh, okay, so I run three Jasmines. Jasmine's ability is when this unit is placed on Rhaegar Circle, you may Carve Blast 1, Soul Charge 3 from your deck. If I have a Witch Vanguard, and this unit gets 3,000 power. So, it's a 12k hitter, not too bad. Uh, okay for early game. The same reason why I don't run the stupid Rabbit, I guess. Uh, and I run three... 
Car Cardamon, whatever. Cardamon's ability is the same as Chamomile, but she but she gains 2k power. So she's 11 when she comes out of the soul. Same thing as your onion, basically. Whatever onion is. Same thing as onion. Okay, so that's, that's it for your grade tools, I guess. I run four Fennel's. Um, Fennel's ability is when you see this place on Vanguard Circle, you make have lost one and Soul Charge three. So what makes it good is that you can Soul Charge before you strike if you ride this unit. Um, unlike uh, Mint. And then its other ability is when this unit... During your turn when this unit performs Legion, when this unit at the end of the battle this unit attack a Vanguard, you may Soul Blast three, look at the top five cards of your deck and search for two Witch cards and add it to your hand. So, because of this, I have to run the Witch Perfect Guards, I guess. Um, these are your ideal rights and ideal rewrites until you want to end the game. If you want to end the game, you can go into either Mint or you use your strides later. Um, so, Mint's ability is um, on the Vanguard Circle, you may Karn Blast 1 and Soul Charge 3. And then, when this, and then when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you if your if your vanguard is in legion, you may so block six. This unit gains ten thousand, and your two rearguards in the front gains five thousand power. So they they make your rearguards like hit twenty one threshold to twenty six, depending on what you have. Um, it com it combos really well with your these things because. Because they, they come off the soul and then the power is also applied because the power is um, on the vanguard, not like given to a rearguard kind of thing. So it can make really good thresholds like 26k if you have a chicory, I guess, instead of that thing. So yeah. Then, uh, and that's basically it. So you're playing four legions, which is good. Oh, sorry, eight legions, which is good, so that you can. Not deck out, hopefully. Uh, speaking of decking out, I run one Madu so that you don't deck out, I guess. Um, sometimes you do have nothing better to stride, so you may as well stride the Madu. Uh, I run one day on because sometimes you have no counter blast to work with or soul, and you and you you might be able to place your opponent in a position where if he doesn't take the hit, he can't do anything because he has no counter blast kind of thing. So it's just like attack. Uh, I run two Doom Brace because it helps you filter soul early game and it gives power which can help you end the game. It also resustains the soul by soul charging back three if you have two or less uh, cards. So if you write like Fennel, you can count blast one, soul charge three, you'll have five soul, stride Doom Brace and you, you extract three soul and soul charge three. You're still at five and you still gain power to give power to your rearguards and you can potentially proc your onions or your uh, cardamons out. Just know that you cannot give them power if you actually call them out because you have to resolve this thing's effect first, basically. Okay. I run two Vanaguns because these are techs. Um, sometimes you just don't have a good soul and you can't, don't have any rearguard, so you just like dig your opponent with Vanaguns because like Scry 7, right, basically. Um, it's just, it's not a very good game ender for the deck. You generally end the game with either Mint or your Clothes. <laughs> And uh, close are your witch strides, and their ability is when this unit attacks a vanguard, you may soul blast six. If you do, all your witch, all your witch unit gain five thousand power. So the whole board gain five thousand power, and then. Um, do, during your turn, and then um, if you have two or more hearts, so like if your Vanguard's in Legion basically, this unit gains one extra crit. So this thing can end the game. Um, the thing is that you need to work with your soul very carefully because if you use one of them, you chances are you'll never be able to use the other or vice versa. Or at most only like say two clothes or whatever, or a cloth and a Vanguard. Because most of your other soul can would, would be... It's very hard to soul charge in the deck depending on what you soul charge. And sometimes you would use the soul for fennel to draw and recover. Or if you couldn't actually stride the turn before, you would use mint's ability so that you're soul blast six. And soul blasting six is very heavy for this deck because they don't have a vanguard that can sustain these soul charge like Fenrir for free. So you have to be very careful when you use when you're using these cards to end the game. That's basically it. So that's the deck profile. Uh, I'm so distracted by what's going on in Locals right now, but thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you think someone who you think would enjoy it. As always, my fellow Vangers, we'll see you in the next video. Bye!